Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be talking about some recent news. You guys probably have heard of it. It's been on the news lately, and that's about the Malaysian flight that had, that went missing a, a couple of days ago. Um, so yeah. Um, basically, there's been a lot of talks, a lot of rumors, and I think this is the first day in which there's like nothing. It's actually been talked about about the Malaysian flight. Um, so yeah. Now we'll put an article down in the description for those who want to check it out. Um, basically, for you, for those who haven't heard of the Malaysian flight yet, the Malaysian flight, um, the Malaysia airline flight. 370 um lo basically lost all communication you know including the transporter signal um which basically sends um the altitude um data direction and speed data to um that basically disappeared at around 1 30 a.m in malaysia M malaysian time i guess i don't know what that would be here um basically all that is known about it is that um there's two passengers that are of I, th I think it was Iranian or Iraqi I know they're Arab, Arab for the most part um who were suspicious um kind of sketchy characters um and yeah basically on to this one that is that those two passengers um uh, got on board on board the plane with fake passports well not fake pa passports um fake tickets or yeah, fake tickets and stolen passports. Um, yeah, the, um, stolen passports. One is of an Italian man, and another one is of a German man. I believe was was the thing of a German man, if I'm not mistaken. I know one of them was Italian. I think the other one was like German or or another place in in Iran or something like that. Um, didn't get that part clear because there's so much mis misinformation and I couldn't really tell but for sure one of them was an Italian man um so yeah these two um the passports were both stolen somewhere between the last um six months to a year and they both reported they reported the missing passports um the passports came up um right around when the flight um was supposedly missing and that's how they're involved in this case um basically Nothing is known about the Malaysian flight. Um, it's it was supposed to come. Uh, it went. It was. It was supposed to go from Malaysia, um, somewhere in Malaysia to, in J to Japan, and then to Germany, is what from what I know. It's supposed to be like a three stop plane or something like that, and the two, Ar Arabs, um, supposedly had a ticket, um, to may take that whole trip from you know from Malaysia to Japan to Germany I think it was one of them at least I'm not sure about the other one but at least one of them had a ticket to go to those three places um yeah that's I mean there's really few things that we actually know about it there's so much miscommunication on this that really nobody knows what the hell is going on um yeah, I mean, there's basically been a lot of talk. Most of them, and not surprisingly, and call it terrorism, because that's what society has led us to believe. You know, if there's an Iranian in the, not Iranian, but there's some kind of um, Arab in uh, some kind of disaster, such as this, um, you know, hijack, bombing, terrorism, basically. Um, yeah, now. There was some news I think was that came out yesterday or two days ago, and that is that they ex decided to expand the area in which they were, they're searching. Um, they said they could. Uh, there is a possibility they could have diverged um, from the initial course for whatever reason. Um, you know, possibly possibly hijack or whatever. Just really ha has been no concrete information. Besides passports and the expansion and you know the Malaysian, you know some of the basics, but anything more detailed, more concrete, really hasn't really popped up besides the passports, from what I've heard. Um, and yeah, the only thing we have closest to any clue is that they found what seems to be some kind of like a door or a life jacket or a 
chair or something. Couldn't really tell. Um, out in the ocean. I think they disclaimed it as that being some kind of other thing. But I'm not completely sure because, you know, with all the miscommunication, can't really tell, you know, what, who's saying what and what's the official news. Um, but that's the closest thing we have to any kind of evidence. Um, and, yeah. Now, as to my thoughts, um, do I think it's terrorist? I, I honestly don't think it's terrorist or terrorism. Uh, mostly because, I mean, yes, th that chance is possible, and that is this is as possible, you know, possibility as to what happens to a plane, you know, getting hijacked or something. Um, but I really don't think it could be terrorists, because, you know, let, let's say they crash a plane or blew up a plane. Pretty sure there'd be more debris than a chair or a door out in the ocean. You know, a bit more debris, maybe a few bodies or something. Um, and probably, would, you know, we probably would have heard more, more info on that. So, I mean, it could be terrorist, but I really don't think um, it would. Um, now, there has been a theory that, you know, they're out on some kind of island. Um, really, I don't really would want to believe that theory, because really the only islands, from my knowledge, and, you know, geographically, the only islands I could think of would be the Philippine Islands. And I don't even know if that's between Malaysia and Japan. I'm almost certain it is, but... You know, really the only islands I could think of is the Philippine Islands, unless, you know, decide to go off to another island that I really don't know, which could be another possibility. Um, really, there's very little information on, on this story. Um, I will do a, another um, update um, sooner, um, if, when, once we get more concrete information. Um, I'm going to estimate in the next two to four days, I'm going to do another re um, review or update on this Malaysian flight. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really hoping that we do fi figure out what happened to the Mal to the people in the Malaysian flight. I think there's like a um, there's about 150 people on the flight in total. I believe was the what they said on the news. Um, but again, there's so much miscommunication and misinformation that we can't tell concretely what's what the hell's going on. Um, you know, I, yeah, that's basically all. Um, you know, people, the, the people in that area in Asia, you know, they are helping, you know, searching. Um, so, you know, that's good. Um, but yeah, you know, our thoughts go out to, you know, the people in the Malaysian flag. Hopefully they get found soon, or at least their status is, um, updating, you know, you know, we get a concrete, uh, how do you say, a concrete, um, A concrete status on them, you know, if they're dead or alive, you know, what the hell happened to them. Hopefully they get found soon, dead or alive, you know, hopefully alive, but, you know, even if they're dead, at least we, now we know what happened to them, and, you know, hopefully we know how they die, if they do die. Not to be pessimistic, but, you know, we have to op be open to all possibilities. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, so yeah, now in the comments below, tell me your thoughts on the Malaysian flight, you know, do you think it was a hijack, or, you know, what do you think happened to them? And, you know, what do you think about the two Arabians, Arabs, whatever, who stole the passports, you know, how do you think they're, they're mixed up in this? Um, do you think, you know, some people have, um, in the news is what I mean in this case, but some people have said that, you know, that possibly just, um, human transportation or something like that. I, I can't, I don't know the official term, but, you know, like human smuggling or something like that. I don't know. Possibility, maybe, um illegal immigration which is another possibility for them and that's why they stole the passports as possible um but yeah so yeah what are your thoughts on you know the, the two arabians you know how do you think you know what are you what do you think you know how do you think um how do you think um do you think they're involved do you not think they're involved you know besides the fact that they're passengers do you think they're more involved in that or you know that that's just that they were passengers and that's it and that's it you know and what do you think happens to malaysian flight you know comment below Again, there will be an article or two down in the description below for those who want to check it out. Um, I have one on CNN and another one on Sourced, I believe it is. Um, yeah, Sourced. Um, no. Yeah, I have one on CBS and one on, yeah, Sourced. Um, actually, no, that's another thing. Yeah, CNN and CBS is what I have. No, wait. Yeah, I'm getting confused here. Um, there's another event that happened later, t uh, earlier today which I will review about, um, 
a new, uh, some buildings collapsing in New York. Um, th that's for another um, topic, which is probably going to be the next video. But besides that, um, the CNN um, articles what I have on the Malaysian flight um, for the um, buildings I have down CBS and source. But you know, for the next video, whatever. Um, but for this video, um, on the description, there's only going to be the Malaysian flight. Um, so yeah, my thoughts go out to the families and people on the Malaysian flight and families and friends of the Malaysian flight. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, remember to subscribe. I, I don't usually do videos um, on this, you know, on this type of news, but you know, every here and there I would do something. I mean, usually it's celebrity news or something like that, or movie news. But, you know, every here and there I will be doing an actual, like, real life events, news, if that makes sense. So, you know, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, when I do do them, because, you know, they are interesting topics. Um, besides that, you know, um, yeah, subscribe. I usually do movie reviews, comic book reviews, and TV show reviews. Um, now, also just a few news updates every here and there, so as I said before. Um, and that's basically it. Share on Facebook, Twitter, or, or MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mark signing off.